opening your kiln too soon causes your pots to crack. So again, um, for bisque kilns, we'll start with this. So for a bisque kiln, you're talking about something which isn't fully vitrified by the process. It's hardened, but it's not glass-like at that point. It still has a lot of, um, um, it still has air in it. It still um, is a little bit porous. And that allows it to handle thermal shock really effectively, actually. So with a bisque kiln, um, once it hit temperature, we would pull all the peeps. Once it got to 600 degrees, we would crack the lid an inch or two. And, um, and then once it got to like 400 degrees, we'd open the lid. And then we'd unload it once it was cool enough to touch. It makes absolutely no difference. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, again, tens and tens of thousands of pots say that that is an absolute fact. Um, every pot we did in production, every pot I've ever done, in my teaching career, every pot I've ever done in my own career, I've never seen any evidence that there's anything you can do to bisque at those temperatures um, that's going to harm it in any way. If it's a glaze kiln, again, we would, at the end, once it reached firing temperature or its, its final temperature, we would actually make sure all the peeps were in to um, kind of slow it. Generally, we always would put in a soak because most glazes like at least a 10 minute soak at temperature. Electric kilns crash cool, uh, it's a toaster. So if you allow it to crash cool, you're gonna get pitting and problems in the surface of your glazes because the volatile materials within the clay body are trying to outgas at that temperature. You find this much more at um, low temp, at like cone 05, um, all the way up to like mid temp, like cone six. At high temp, most of that volatile nature happens earlier in the firing. By the time you get to cone 10, it's all done. So you don't get the same kind of problem with pitting glazes at cone 10. But at cone 6, you can get quite a bit of problem with that. So we would actually make sure all the peeps were in after it had had its 10-minute soak. And then we would leave, leave it shut down, leave it closed up until um, it was no longer glowing. And then we would take out half the peeps. Then at, um, again, at like 600 degrees, pull the rest of the peeps, crack the lid, everything's gonna be fine. 